Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. The new horror film Barbarian is one of those that's just best left to experience with absolutely no knowledge going in. So you may just want to come back to this review after you've seen the movie. It's in theaters and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. The title Barbarian is left pretty vague on purpose, almost begging you to learn more about it, what it means in context to the rest of the movie. Now I'll start by saying that we meet Georgina Campbell's character Tess, arriving at an Airbnb late one rainy night. Uh, it's dark, cold, and the key is missing from the lock. Now come to find out that it's already taken by another renter, Keith, played by Bill Skarsgård. And in true horror movie fashion, we're led to believe that something bad will happen between Keith and Tess. Now, after all, Bill Skarsgård did play Pennywise the Clown in the recent adaptations of Stephen King's novel, It. Now, he's nerdy, charming, and nice to her, when she really has no reason to trust him. Tess relents and stays the night, only to be woken up by her bedroom door opening and Keith's night terrors. Now, that is nothing compared to the horrors that await once daylight hits, and Tess learns that there are some unimaginable horrors in that house. The film also stars Justin Long as the owner of this Airbnb. Now, I'll keep this review as spoiler-free as possible, as writer-director Zach Cregan has really crafted an exhilarating and pulsating ride, and I would hate to foreshadow what might lay down the road. Now, Cracker starts off with a really simple and engaging premise uh, of two strangers meeting in an unfamiliar location, debating if they can trust one another. He adds in some purposeful sound effects up front with the sound of heavy rain and what sounds like long, drawn-out screams mixed in. It's daunting. And it just tells the audience that this isn't going to end well. Now, Tess's iPhone suggests that this uh, is a modern day setting, but there's a vintage feel to it as Cracker has studied the masters of horror and the stars of the 1970s horror movies. The first act is all about the trust between these two characters and the audience. We want to trust Keith as he's nerdy and charming while Tess is smart and resourceful. Bill Skarsgård is great at making us laugh out of being uncomfortable. Cragger eases his way in with us, only to pull the rug right out from under us and gives us that shock factor with the movie's first big jump scare. You're already on edge when it happens, and then Cragger then cuts to something completely different, leaving you in suspense for what you just saw and what is now happening. It all connects story-wise, but the stress and the tension stay with you in this transition. He and cinematographer Zach Cooperstein know how to shoot their house of horrors, playing into, playing into the dimensions and the darkness that await. It's really effective when oftentimes darkness is overused in horror. They play on those fears of being trapped and not knowing what's around you. Georgina Campbell makes for a really great final girl, while Skarsgård and Long are actually cast against type, which then plays into that unnerving feeling that they have with their characters. Barbarian is twisted and it shouldn't work, yet Cracker makes this a technical achievement in every way possible. It has the potential to be a cult classic and one of those word-of-mouth horrors like The Blair Witch Project or The Babadook or Get Out, the have you seen Barbarian yet type of movie where you need to talk about it but you actually have to find someone that's truly experienced it. I'm giving Barbarian four out of five ticket subs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I got some of the movie reviews as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Barbarian. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.